Hey guys, what's going on? Today we have a news update for the JP side of Dokkan Battle. But first off, go over to the global side and collect rewards. Rewards got released last night. I did do another set of multi summons, so if you're following me over on Facebook, you could have seen what I pulled. Um, go over and check out the Gaming Multiverse, Dragon Ball Gaming Multiverse over on Facebook. You can find me over there. Um, outside of that, once you go into your thing, you can go and get some stones. I think I got something like 20-something stones last night. I think we're supposed to get a total of 70 at some point. Um, but yeah, so that's happening. So if you want to go do that, collect it for the banner, or if you want to wait, I think we're supposed to be getting some of the LR banners in the future. I'm not pulling on them myself. Um, I, I just did those summons on what I want to pull. But uh, let me just say I was very happy with what I pulled last night. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so go ahead and do that. Now, we're moving over to the JP side. So, in the JP side, we had a big data download last night. Well, not a big, a small data download. And we have new stuff that's coming out. First off, uh, in terms of the data download from 717, um, we have a new LR Intelligence Goku that's going to be available, a new Technique Bra, a new Strength Chi Chi. we got a couple other units that are going to be available that are new as well. We're going to talk about them. We have new missions. Goku Jr. event is returning on 724. Cooler event is returning on 724. Great Saiyan Man event returning on 719, which is tomorrow. Clearing out the new super. There's a new super battle road. Um, gives uh, five stones for each stage you complete. Um, we're going to talk about the super battle road in a minute. Clearing all even numbered super battle roads gives you one LR Goku. Clearing all odds gives the same. Clearing all gives two clearing any new stage 20 times gives one so pretty much do everything and you get all four dupe pads unlocked in the new lr goku rebrand event returns on 719 super battle road the new super battle road you have uh, 10 more stages stage 11 super characters only uh, extreme characters only for stage 12 stage 13 fusion only stage 14 shadow dragon arc stage 15 is peppy girls category uh, stage 16 is mixed saiyan Stage 17 is Revived Warriors. Stage 18 is Realm of God category. AKA, if you don't have Ultra Instinct Goku, you're boned. Yeah, probably. Um, stage 19, Majin Buu Saga category allowed. Um, and Stage 20 is Batar category. So you, you have to go for each of those categories. You need to have a full team based off of them. If you don't have them, I am sorry. You're probably not going to be able to do it. Um, yeah, you're, you're most likely not going to be able to do it because the original Super Battle Road was ridiculous just for mono strength or mono teams. And those mono teams pretty much had, you know, if you even if you had everything like Rainbow, it was still very difficult. I still haven't completed it on the global side. I keep on damn dying on the last round. But uh, that's just my luck. But I also haven't been going hard to try and actually do it because that LR Gohan, not really, like, I'm not really too fond of him i don't think he's a fantastic unit i do want him though anyway um that's the stuff we also have uh the information about the lr intelligence goku at 12 and 18 key we're also getting an agility kid trunks and a technique goten we will talk about them in a minute we also have new osts leaked so i'm not sure if you guys are into that i'm not going to be playing it on my channel we go over to the reddit you could uh, check out new leaked ost from today from three hours ago on 7 18 july 18th or at least three hours from me posting this. So what is that? It's going to be around... It looks like that was going to be around 10... No, uh, 9.30 in the morning, 9.30 Eastern Time. So you can go ahead and check that out if you want to. Um, otherwise, it's going to be available. It looks like we're getting a new Android 21 event coming up. Um, outside of that, this is the stuff, the information about the, the new uh, kid, the Goten, the Trunks, the LR Goku. Goten, Gift of Purity, currently inactive on DBZ.Space. Leader skill is key plus two and HP is 50% or above. Super attack Kamehameha causes huge damage. Uh, I guess he's going to be an SR then. Um, <laughs> passive overflowing spirit energy. High chance of attack plus 25% onto all allies. Yeah, most likely. Links, nothing available. Um, at least as of right now, we have nothing available. That The kid Trunks, wonderful sworn friend. Uh, inactive on DBZ.Space. Tech and agility types attack plus 25%. Victory can and huge damage. Uh, persistent spirit of pursuit may... Um, same wording as the Agility Weiss, lower attack and defense of all enemies by 20%. Uh, so that's interesting. Uh, okay, cool. That's not going to be great, I guess. But again, I think they're going to be the SRs. The LR Goku, however, let's take a look at him. All types, uh, key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 100%. So all of you who have not been able to get to the 1000 day login will at least be able to get a new leader uh that does all types for hp attack and defense plus 100 percent. that's gonna be pretty awesome actually um see i don't have the tech vegeto leader but i do have the uh thousand day login so i should be able to do super battle road when it comes around uh, assuming i don't pull the tech vegeto when he does come around if i do end up getting him when he comes around again anyway super tech 12 key 
uh, 12 to 17 keys. Power pole deals colossal damage, rare chance to stun. All right. Uh, 18 key, Adventure of Extreme Courage. It deals a mega colossal damage, raises attack of all super class allies with 30% for one turn. Ah, that's all right, I guess. Passive skill, Power Pole and Nimbus Companions. Super class allies, key plus two, attack and defense plus 30%, so he has the support passive. Medium chance to evade enemy attacks, that's cool. And when HP is 50% or below, increase attack and defense of super class allies by an additional 20%. So he is going to be a pure, pure, pure uh support unit and he could be a very good support unit when your hp drops it looks like he will be doing some decent damage uh, i guess we'll have to wait until he's available on Dokkan battle builder to see who he links very well with it looks like he has the standard z fighter stuff all in the family z fighter saiyan warrior race experienced fighters legendary power saiyan lineage courage uh personally i don't think his link skills are that great so you're probably never going to run him on primary rotation he's only going to be used for support and even at that point i kind of think that you're going to have other better support units you could run but he is an lr and if you have the team cost that could that could do it then you might want to do it just because he will do some decent damage when he gets his supers off <clears throat> all right now we have chi chi marriage arrangement leader skill is strength and physical type key plus three hp attack and defense plus 50 percent okay i guess whatever uh folding fan deal supreme damage seals enemy super attacks okay that's awesome uh wish we knew what uh pan oh what, what type she was what is she do we have it over here? No, we don't have it over here. I guess we'll have to go check it on dbz.space in a minute. Um, passive, healthy body and spirit attack plus 80% at the start of the turn. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, Peppy Gals category, allies, key plus two, defense plus 100%, not a typo. Okay, interesting. That's that's really interesting. Attack plus 80%, start Peppy Gals category. So that, I guess that's going to definitely help you out on the new Super Battle Road, having her, because then she can go and give everyone the Peppy Girls category the, the defensive buff so they don't die. Legging skills are Courage, Innocence, Battlefield Diva, Infighter, Incredible Adventure, Guidance of the Dragon Balls. Um, okay, I guess that's decent, and Peppy Girls category. And last but not least, uh, it looks like we have Bra or Bulla from the Dragon Ball GT, Inherited it, Curiosity. Leader skill is Agility and Tech Type, Key plus 3, HP Tech and Defense plus 50%, Super Tech, Dad's Gallic Gun, okay, cool. Uh, deals extreme damage to the enemy and greatly raises attack, okay, cool. Uh, passive, Youth and Curiosity, all allies, Key plus 2, Attack plus 30%. Evasion chance plus 20% for every Peppy Girl, Girls category ally present on your team, max of 50%. That's really cool. I wish it was up higher, like 70% or 60%. That would have been a little bit better, but all right, cool. Uh, Links, Battlefield, Diva, Innocence, Royal Lineage, Money, 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 Saiyan Lineage, and GT. And categories are Peppy Girls and Hybrid Saiyan. Ah, okay, not bad. That's actually pretty damn cool. I like that. Um, uh, in terms of the units, uh, honestly, I don't think any of them are fantastic. None of them are like game-changing or game-breaking. But it's definitely going to be cool to have them to run on teams and whatnot. Um, let's go over to dbz.space really quick. Uh, just to see what we could get. It's jpn.dbz.space cards. And we can go look at the uh, the schedule and see what we got here. So Chi Chi's going to be strength. And Bola or Bra is going to be technique. Goku is going to be intelligence. I think we had the inactive, right? So we had the Trunks and the Goten. They're going to be agility and technique. They are SRs, not rares. Uh, but yes, they are SRs. All right, cool. Good to know. Um, in terms of rainbow stats, it looks like this is going to be the rainbow stats for the Goku over here. Um, let's see. HP is 20,000. Attack is 17.5 thousand. And defense is almost 12,000. 11.7 thousand. So there you go. I don't think any of this is too crazy insane but that is pretty awesome um but uh i mean this new super battle road is always fun it always makes uh, the game a little bit more interesting because you can actually benefit from using all your teams i like how they actually make it viable to run different teams so um again i know some of you may not have the teams and it might be a little bit frustrating again i don't do it on jp just because i don't have the teams but i also don't put money into the game on the jp side um but yeah uh, anyway, guys, but before we jump on to the next, next and last news bit of information, please make sure to subscribe if you are new here and if you like the content that you've seen here. I do my best to try to get you all the news out as fast as I possibly can. And it really helps me to have the subscriptions because that means you guys are actually interested in what I'm doing and um, you guys want to see my content. And last but not least, we as you see over here, we have Android 21. It looks like she is coming to Dokkan Battle. That's going to be very interesting. It looks like she's she may be an LR. I don't know how this is going to work. Maybe it's just going to be her going from SSR to TUR and have a transformation mechanic. That's what it's looking like. Um, it also looks like something to do with Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Something else is going on over here. I don't have the full translations, but that's that's pretty awesome. I'm pretty sure it's going to not be an LR and it's going to be a transformation type thing. Like she gets taken over by evil. Or I never actually know what the story event was with her. So I never looked up. But it is, she is an SSR. It's Android 21. She's coming to Dokkan Battle. We don't know when. 
We know it's going to be coming out at some point, maybe next month, maybe the month after, but that is going to be available soon, so that's going to be pretty damn awesome. A lot of you guys I know are going to be excited about that. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. I'll catch you in the comments below, and again, please make sure you subscribe. Peace out.